My name is Alicia English and I'm Chase English and today we have a couple of projects that we want to work on It's hailing in terrible weather out today And so we thought we'd get a few things done a few projects that we have in mind for Valentine's And we really want to put some stuff into the crock pot because we actually are going to be working on a really huge project They don't know what it is yet <laughs> And so we thought it would be a great idea to throw some food in the crock pot that we can eat for lunches over the next Wait couple cut cut something's just not right. Yeah, wait a second I got you something. You got me something? Yeah, what's this? Ooh, 11 inch LED flush mount light. Perfect. I picked it up at McNaughton's Home Hardware. Sneaky. <laughs> I think we do need it for this face though because- It's pretty dark right we're now. We're looking a little dull, Chase. <laughs> so let's get this in. Ooh, this is pretty grimy. Kitchen lights are always grimy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doesn't matter how many times you wipe them, they end up getting super grimy. Grease and smoke and a moth. A moth? <laughs> Don't fall. Chase, I'm a professional. I never fall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure for how long you've been in the dark, but you've been in the dark. <laughs> there will be light at there the end of light. this tunnel. So we've been changing plenty of the lights around the house to LED lights. Since we did the boys' bedrooms, we realized that we really like the bright, nice, crisp light that those light fixtures give us. And so we picked up an LED light for the kitchen here because we do really have dull lighting in the kitchen. So we just thought, whoa. You guys are we just bought me. a professional. A professional. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. Thought that it would be a lot more cost effective also to have LED lights in the house, but we have quite a few light fixtures that need an upgrade. So this is just a temporary light for us until we find the perfect kitchen light that we want for here, but we'll be able to use this one in the hallway once we switch it up. So we're gonna put it in the kitchen for now. Luckily Phil's a professional light hanger. We don't have to pay an electrician because this light is very simple and any homeowner would be able to put it up as long as you make sure you turn off the power. <laughs> but everything is in your pocket. <laughs> Which is it, Phil? Don't electrocute yourself, babe. <laughs> Brighten this place up. Nothing like a good electrocution. Get your circulation going. <laughs> okay, stay. Oh, why? It was in the wrong hand. Yeah, it is kind of still hands of a surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> if they only knew. <laughs> Mind of a five year old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. How many times in my videos am I allowed to say send help? <laughs> Before someone Before actually someone, someone actually does? Send help. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't happen any other way. Oh, you have recording. Just right now, I just put it. Oh. Okay. Let's go to the Good. Nice light. Cute. Yeah. Okay. Can you go down? It didn't turn on. I know. Ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Whoa! That is. Amazing. That is bright. Holy! <laughs> You guys, wow. this okay, just, let's try again. Ready? This just transformed <laughs> the, kitchen. the kitchen. Wow, and that light was so affordable. So this is the flush mount light that we got. 11 inch LED flush mount. It wasn't even a very big light. That's awesome. Perfect, thanks, man. Okay, ready? Let's try again. <laughs> what are we gonna work on today? What we are going to work is we are going to make crayons, but not regular crayons. These ones are special. They are special rainbow colored cramp and they can come in all different shapes. Which is super fun. So we're gonna use silicone molds and we happen to have a selection of Valentine's silicone molds because Chase and Dayton actually did tie-dye crayons as a business at a couple of craft shows that we did a few Christmases in a row. And this year we obviously didn't participate in any craft shows due to the world issues. 
So the boys were really excited. Hey puppies! <laughs> the boys were really excited to actually make a set of Valentine's crayons to send to a friend of ours. Since people won't really be getting Valentine's things from their friends at school or anything, we thought we would make them some to send them in the mail. So we're going to get started on that and we're also going to put a stew in the crock pot. Ready to help? Yeah. Let's go. You need Crayola crayons, silicone mold, a cookie plate, in a plastic container. And you need water, right? And water. So you want to make sure that your actual cooking tray is one that you just want to use for crafting because you will get wax all over it and then you don't want to use it for food later because it won't be food safe. So we're going to put this one aside because we're going to need to put our molds on that to get them in the oven. So we're going to warm up our oven to 200 degrees. You don't want to speed up the process. You just want to cook it to melt them at 200. Otherwise, your whole house will smell like burning wax and it's really terrible to smell. So you wanna make sure you stay to 200. It takes a little bit longer at a lower temperature to melt them, but I assure you, we have tried to speed this up before, cramming for shows, and it's a terrible idea. So cook it at 200. And we're going to fill this plastic container with really warm water. And what did normally what people do, right? They would normally use a Zacto knife to get off the plastic around the crayons. Yeah. You can't have that in your crayons. So the paper that's on the crayons is really hard to peel off and it would take you forever. And we learned this when we were doing the shows, how long it took us to peel the yeah. first year. We didn't know this trick and we used an X-Acto knife and I can't even tell you how many cuts we had on our fingertips just because you end up getting tired of doing it and you end up slipping. And so we learned this magical trick that if you actually soak the crayons in really warm water and let them sit for a few minutes and agitate them in the water, the paper falls off. But you don't want your water to be too hot that it will actually melt your crayons. So there's a fine line there, but you'll figure that out. So we're going to let our water go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, is that the size of your heart? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> <laughs> the little guys, we're gonna give these two. We thought we'd do two different sizes because I think one of them's toddler age, so we don't want them to have tiny little crayons. So we thought the big chunky ones would be better for a toddler to hold, so be able to use them. All right, you wanna start pouring in your crayons? Yeah. You can pour them all in if you want to. How many friends you want to make? Oh, baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful. Oh, you shine like gold, so selfless to all. I made mine quite warm enough. But like I said, there's a fine line of melting the wax and burning your hands in the water at the same time. So having that adult help for sure. What colors are going where? Any ones. We're going to tie-dye them. They're tie-dye. That's the fun of it. If you want to make them different color tones, you can, but... I'm the worst to be making tie-dye. I was going to say. Yeah, let me you just got, do that. Chase is coming me, to your rescue. You got me on the wrong side here. Let me peel. You might need to make it a little warmer now that it's cooling down already. Woo! He can land it in the heart. These ones are so cute. I love you. Sweetheart. Be mine. Cutie pie. We're breaking them up into little pieces. That's what I was saying not to do. That's why I dumped it out real quick. Look at the sink. Oh. oh, honey. What have I done? Why? 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 I don't know. You guys put me over here. I was supposed to be on the breaking crew. And you guys got me on the wrong team. Oh my gosh. Are you covered in wax? Yes. Everything is. The sink, it's just melting on me right now. Okay. Let them cool down first. Look at what I did. Oh, it's still going to be beautiful. The thing we're going for the tie dye looks. Well, at least they kind of do. Look at this. Watch how easy it is. I know, I know. Daddy yeah, melted yeah, yeah, the yeah. I was thinking about you guys. Dad like, should have watched our tutorial. <laughs> You've only seen us do this 10,000 times. Oh, baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful. So we have both 
most of our molds actually filled right up and you're not going to be able to actually fill them fill them fill them fill them they're going to have a lot of air pockets in them and so what's going to happen is you're going to cook these for a couple of minutes and you're going to see it melt and it'll look like your molds are probably about half full and then i'll use an oven mitt pull them out and then fill in a little bit more of the crayon and then let it melt again and then we'll let them cool down and we'll have amazing tie-dye valentine crayons so we're on 200 bless you chase bless you <laughs> <laughs> and this is why it's important to have the cookie sheet that you can just use for crafting because once in a while it will overflow or sometimes your silicone molds if you reuse them and reuse them or use them like we did for craft shows they will sometimes eventually get a hole in them just from heating them up so many times so we're gonna leave those for a couple minutes and then come back to them so because the weather is nice and cold today rather than leaving these to actually cool down on the counter for probably about an hour I wanted to speed up the process and so I'm just putting them on the ground here on the porch these will probably only take about 20 minutes to harden and for all the wax to seal and settle into these molds then we'll be able to bring them inside and pop them out but because it's super stormy and the weather is really crummy over the next couple of days we are going to be working on a huge project at the house here you guys are gonna see in this video we went to pick up all the things that we needed for this next big project so we just picked up five items that were ordered and sent from home for us and we're really excited because this project is going to finish off something else that we've already been working on at home so that is the only clue that I'm going to give you but I want you guys to guess and see what it is that we're going to be working on this is a project that I wanted to work on since we bought the house we looked around and we knew what projects were really going to be DIY home renos and then we just kind of were checking things off on the list as we go now through our house so this is something that's going to complete this space I'm so excited about it and I already know what these items are, so I'm really, really excited for you to see them. So I'm gonna go inside now and get all the small items that would give this away if I told you what I was going in to get. Because you guys would totally know if I showed you what I was getting inside. But I will show you guys a haul when we get home, when we post this video so you guys can see what I actually picked up to go into this space. So I'm gonna go shopping in my favorite store. And since I always like to be prepared when we're doing a big project so that at the end of a busy, tiring day, we don't have to worry about who's gonna make dinner or anything and we like to utilize our crock pot. And so we've been making a stew recipe, which is comfort food on a day when it's so cold like this. So we're gonna go put a stew and share with you guys our recipe that we've been making for these easy to make lunches or dinners, however you wanna use it, even better the next day. So we're gonna go use our fresh produce. And because we are in lockdown right now, this is a great recipe to be able to do to even put in your freezer for later and just be able to get some produce without having to go to the store. So we're using things like carrots and potatoes, veggies and produce that last longer at home since we're not running out all the time for fresh produce. So let's go make a stew. I love having a slow cooker and this crock pot is a lifesaver for me when I'm feeding three boys every day and we're super busy, especially since we started our channel, I have utilized this so much. What I wanna do is just use some fresh produce. We've been keeping a lot of potatoes, carrots, onions, things that we can keep to stay fresh longer at the house here since we're not running out all the time. So I'm gonna start with some of the veggies. I have a package here of cubed stewing beef. I'm going to put in it two cups of water in first. Put my beef in there. I like to cut it up into smaller cubes just so the kids don't have huge pieces of meat. Then cut up my veggies. I'm going to put in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, a can of tomato paste, and a beef bouillon, a little salt and pepper. Super easy. Pretty much everybody has these items in their pantry or in their freezer. And if you don't, stewing beef is a really inexpensive way to make a malty dinner or lunch using your crock pot. So this will go for a couple meals for us and it's super affordable, which is what I love about it. So two cups of warm water and you wanna fire up your crock pot so that it's already starting to warm up. Most crock pots have super easy settings where you can put it just low or high, four hours, six hours, eight hours. Honestly, with stew, the longer you leave it, the better, but it's tempting because the house starts to smell really delicious. And then we end up not waiting. <laughs> really? Like, what are we making? With your uh, beef cubes, I usually, rather than try to cut it with a knife because it can get really tricky. I just use a pair of scissors that I just use for me in the kitchen. Cut them up, it's a little smaller than they come. Now I keep a cutting board that I just use for meat and then I have a cutting board that I just use for fresh produce. I'm not a chef by any means. You can pretend every once in a while, right? <laughs> made with love, that's what we say at our house. Yeah, always. Every meal is made with love. How is it? Oh, it's delicious, <laughs> it's made with love. I mean, I can really tell you made it with love. <laughs> that's what I get sometimes. But this recipe is really a showstopper in our house. Everybody likes it, inexpensive to make and it's actually relatively fast and there's nothing better than making it in the morning and then knowing that you don't have to cook dinner after a long day. 
So I've got onions, potatoes, carrots. I'm gonna add in some frozen corn. And then I just have to put in my tomato paste, my beef bouillon, a little bit of salt and pepper, and just a dab of Worcestershire sauce. I don't usually put in too, too many carrots, but we like to have the more veggies you put in, the better. But obviously the stew is because it gives it lots of flavor. But also, it really beefs up the stew, so the stew will last a little bit longer. Okay, so I just got a new can opener and I've always had one that went on the side. So every time I go to do this now, I go to put it on the side and then realize it's a top one. <laughs> and I've always had one of the other ones. This one is so much better than the one that I had. So tomato paste, I put in the whole can. And then just one of the little packets of beef bouillon. You can get these in cubes where you have to add them to hot water. If that's the kind that you get, then you wanna do that with the water, but I put my water in first because I have a different kind of cube. And then I just put in a splash of Worcestershire sauce. Not entirely sure what this does to the flavor, but it's always been in the recipe, so it always goes in. And just a little bit of salt and pepper. You want to add just a tiny bit of garlic you can we used to kind of do that but the kids don't love it when i do that so now i'm just going to give it a little mix up put the lid on and leave it for six to eight hours crayons are all cooled down and they're ready to pop out of the molds and this is the most satisfying part of the process i have no idea why but when we used to punch these all out in alphabets it was so fun to pop them out and see the tie-dye that we created with the crayons so I'm gonna do the large ones first because they're actually super easy. So these have just hearts with little decorative markings on them. And I thought these would be perfect for a toddler because they're nice, big, and chunky. And so they turn out super cute. So I'm going to pop this out. This one has a heart on it. But you can see that using the Crayola crayons, making it tie-dye really makes a really cool pattern on all of them. And then they're all unique. None of them are the same. Cute. We have a whole bunch more to pop out, but I really love these ones because they have the cute little sugar candy phrases on them, like be my BFF, I love you, happy Valentine's. They pop out super easy. And this is a sweetheart. Because the lettering is nice and deep, it really puts a really nice imprint on these. They draw like crayons and as you're drawing, this is my BFF, as you're drawing with them, they draw tie dye, which is part of the fun. So what could wouldn't love these? Says you rock, I love these ones. Love you, be mine. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna make a few sets of these and we're going to mail them off to a couple of cute little kids that we know. And then we're gonna package it up in some really cute little Valentine's baggies have the kids make them a little Valentine's card and then thought that they would have a nice time drawing with these Valentine's crayons since not everybody wants to send candy to people for Valentine's but you still want to do something thoughtful so I thought this would be really cute. We might even put it in, this is actually like a plastic container jar that has a little wood lid so we might actually fill it with a little bit of tissue, put these inside, make a cute tag letting them know that these are crayons so that they don't think that they're candy and then the parents will know what to watch out for. These are adorable. <laughs> and then what you do is you just realign your molds because they will flip inside out. The wax usually doesn't stick to them very well anyway, so you can just reuse them. Don't use them for food after because now they're waxy. We used five boxes of crayons to actually make all of these large ones and one of these sets. So it does take a substantial amount of crayons. And normally what we do is we save the broken crayons and stuff, but since we used to do this as a business with the kids, just for them to do something fun at the craft shows, we had lots of packs of crayons. So we used new Crayola crayons, but the best option is to upcycle. But my kids are getting a little bit older and they don't really draw with crayons that much anymore. We use new ones from the pack, but look at how adorable these are. You can pick up silicone molds. Sometimes you can get the dollar store, most craft stores, but also check for chocolate molds that are silicone because you can find lots of shapes on Amazon or different places like bulk barns and stuff, which is where we got most of ours. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. We're working on getting a lot of prep done for a couple of huge projects that we're going to be doing around the house, not to mention some awesome upcoming DIYs that you guys are going to see in the next couple of weeks. We have a whole month full of content for you guys and we're so excited to reveal to you what we're working on next. 
you're gonna see in this video that we went to pick up all the supplies that we need for our next project that you guys are going to see in the next couple of days. So let me know in the comment section, take a guess, what do you think we're working on? You saw some boxes, and I know that some of you are gonna have a good indication maybe on what we're working on next, but it's still fun to guess. So leave your comments down below, what do you think are our next big projects? And if you haven't already heard, we have started a second channel and content for 2021 will be going up on that channel. It is called Wild English and it is just more of the English family doing other things that we like that are beyond our DIY creative home renovations and projects. This is going to be us doing survival situations, off-grid living, building eco things, doing a lot of world preservation. It's a whole bunch of different content that you guys are not going to see on this channel. So if you're interested in following along more with my family, you can go and subscribe to that channel. I'll leave all of the information in the description box. Also, the recipe for today's crock pot will be down in the description box. Give it a try, let us know what you think. It is our comfort food on stormy days, especially when we're gonna work on projects for a couple of days. I love you guys so much and I'm just so thankful for all of your support. Thank you so much for following my family and being part of our journey. We have a lot of really awesome stuff coming in 2021 and we're excited to have you guys part of that journey. Thank you so much, I love you and I'll see you tomorrow.